Alright, so we're gonna be working on Media Blitz next. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Oh. Now we can use it to spearhead our takeover of the UNN studios on Core Hall. Once the Odin has taken out their defenses, we'll broadcast our evidence against Mengsk. Figure yeah, that's what I was thinking, they user. At us. They'll be talking about this one for years. Our raid on the Valhalla facility hasn't even been reported yet. The Dominion have no idea we stole the Odin. I had to call in every favor I had, but I got the Odin on the surface, with Tychus inside. Matt, you're a miracle worker. It must have been a complicated operation. You don't even want to know, sir. I'm not going to let anything keep us from exposing Mengsk. So they're still expecting the filming at the UNN studios later today? That's right. And we won't disappoint them. Seeing as he's the only one with experience, Tychus will pilot the Odin and hit the studio guards with a surprise attack. They'll be confused for several minutes, and won't even know who to attack at first. And during the confusion, we'll establish a forward base using this command center we acquired earlier. Pretty devious, Matt. I like it. If Tychus can inflict enough damage during the sneak attack, making the broadcast should be relatively easy. Keep in mind, we'll only have a few minutes before the Dominion realize that Tychus is in the Odin. Once they figure it out, they'll use everything they've got to stop us. Whatever happens, we'll be giving Nex one hell of a broadcast. Let's do this. So for Media Blitz, to make sure that I always get the uh, secret mission, um, I usually just go for tanks. Um, I think I'm able to take out one or two buildings on the... Um, oh, I could probably take out a little more, but I usually go for right after the I'm tanks the to the secret objective. Pick it up, now. and then... Um, We'll go back over and at least maybe take out the command center that's uh, at the natural, from one of my first naturals. But we'll see. All right, Tychus. Do you think? Thought you'd never ask. All right, here we go. Odin has gone rogue. Repeat, Odin has gone rogue. Bring it down! Attention, rogue pilot. This is General Warfield of Dominion Command. You're ordered to stand down or face immediate termination. Alright, so I think I can go here and there. Now I'll walk all the way over here. So that way there's no tanks coming after me. Which, uh, yeah. Not always the best to deal with. I don't really feel, feel, feel. I don't really fear Hellions too much, so I'm not really going to worry about them. I think I can take this out, and then I'm going to walk over here. An alert's gone out. It won't be long before they shut me out of their system. Don't rush me, kid. Can't a man take some pleasure in his work? Yeah, sometimes I walk the Odin through here and maybe take out the Ghost Academy. I'll just walk back and see what I can do. Seventy-five. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough to get it. We're almost out of time. So are these guys. <laughs> Don't sweat it. Nice. 
Got one of the factories. The Dominion switched to a secure channel. I can't track their positions anymore. But I have gained access to the UNN network. We'll need troops to stay close to one of the broadcast towers long enough to get our message out. For our broadcast to reach all of Dominion space, we'll need to control each broadcast tower long enough to upload the data. Any unit type can maintain control. You can bet Max will have something to say about that. Let's get moving. Let's do it. See, I think that that would have been cool for like Swan, right? How cool would it be if Swan had the ability to eventually, like, after you like fully upgrade the drill or something, or some extra little bit, you can actually get um, the Odin. I think it'd be cool to give like some of the Terran units um, a um, a hero unit, you know? Cause hero units are pretty fun. Are smaller than the Odin, but they handle better and they still hit hard. Enjoy. That big dog is all mine. Add on complete. Yeah, I guess so. Still be fun, though. <laughs> I mean, maybe not specifically Swan. I think Swan would be the one that would make the most sense to have the Odin. Yeah, exactly. You got it right, Klaus. Tychus would be a good one. Again, they, they need to add quite a few more commanders and stuff like that. Like, I think Nova would be fun to have access to like a ton of nukes. I think that'd be so much fun. It's like in the her campaign when you get access to uh, nuclear silos, they just uh, constantly make nukes over and over and over again. So you can just be dropping nukes. If you have like seven of them, you just always drop them. Yeah. Wait. Wait when did I start making you? Alarak would be nice. I don't know if um you remember playing was it the last mission? Yeah, the last mission as Protoss on Brood War. You actually got to um Um, you actually got to take control of uh, both a Protoss and a Terran army, and I thought that was like one of the coolest missions. Um, they were like on opposite ends of the map, so you had to move one out one specific way and one out the other way, and it was like one of my the, the most favorite m maps that I played on the entire like StarCraft um, games. And I really thought that, like, at one point in one of these missions, you'd actually get to control more than one army type. But they always have them as, like, other commanders controlling them. And I just don't think that's as cool as you doing it yourself, you know? So I always like going um, Marine Medic, especially because they're the only units that I'm actually upgrading in this entire thing. As much as I wanted to go absolutely no upgrades, it's just not really nice having stimmed Marines. They're a pretty awesome unit. Base is under attack. I'm 
still not 100% sure why when Thors have the, the weakest air attack that they prioritize attacking the air units. I always thought that was kind of ridiculous. Alright. Yeah, I think uh, Blizzard has such a pretty cool ability to make some really awesome maps. With all of the different assets they've created over the years, you know? So it's kind of like the ball's in their court as to whether or not they want to make some of these things. Because I think they really could easily make some of these missions, you know? When a lot of the time, like, making a new commander, all of the abilities are already in the game somewhere. Between the different campaigns. You can basically make yourself swan by picking the right upgrades for the units that you have, you know? And the right tech. You can basically be Artanis or Karax or whatever, depending on um, which upgrades you choose in the Legacy of the Void campaign, you know? So it's not like they have to do very much to create a new commander. I mean, of course, there's balancing. They always love their balancing, which is really good. I always appreciate that, but it wouldn't be the hardest thing in the world for them to do that, you know? ready to go attack something. So I have my uh, bio up here, which is pretty much set up the best to take out the um, air units that are coming. Upgrade complete. So that's why I'm going to have them over here. Your forces are under attack. Your forces are under attack. Almost done with my upgrades. Is under attack. That's pretty cool that they have all that stuff all um, kind of already programmed out. That's really awesome. I want the Odin to be in front. Okay, don't tell me I'm going to lose a Thor to some Reapers. are under attack.
Take the thorn and do Complete. Your forces are under attack. forces are under attack. Your forces are under attack. Forces are under attack. Mineral field depleted. Your forces are under attack. Right, I'm just going to finish up over here. Field depleted. Right. Mineral field depleted. Well, that's clear. I'm going to take my um, bio forces here. Mineral upgrade complete. I really wish I had scans. Depleted. That was close. Upgrade complete. Mineral field depleted. Your forces are under attack. Mineral field depleted. I don't know, that might, that might be enough. I'm not sure. I think I need a lot more Marines right now, because I have Mineral a bunch of uh, depleted. medics. Upgrade complete. Right. 
Vespine geyser exhausted. So I'm pretty sure. that um, all the forces come from over here. Strike team Charlie, get to that tower. Bring down those rebels. Your forces are under attack. Your forces are under attack. Transmission uploaded. Even Manx won't be able to wriggle out of this one. Incoming transmission. There's only one man arrogant enough to think he can get away with this. Rainer. Huh. Yeah, sure, why not? That's For me. For once, Arcturus, this really is all about you. I hope you enjoy the show. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave Watch this him. here. Get your men down there. I want Rainer's head, you understand? him and all his terrorist friends. Security breach at one of the towers. Strike Team Alpha, engage. Stop him. Almost lost everybody on top of that. Human tenacity and ingenuity have come together to forge the final answer to the Zerg threat. It's making potholes! We're almost done transmitting Mech's dirty little secret to the Dominion. Some might walk at the cost of such a magnificent machine, but I say to you, what price do you... The problem is, as I didn't actually take out all the tanks, I just um, took out the ability for them to make tanks. So there's still going to be a couple tanks that are there, but I'm hoping that because I'm going to hit from three different sides here, Upgrade complete. that um, all the tank fire will be drawn appropriately. Times I'm going to use my select all army hotkey. Your forces are under attack. Why are you walking there? Oh, yeah, they're trying to follow that. Okay. Well, I think we're pretty much set to do this. Your forces are under attack. Forces are I take it out. Oh, I took it out. How nice. Ooh. Oh, wow, so close. That's about it. Done. Uh, 
they're attacking a tower. Strike Team Bravo. Take them out. I need to come from that side. Last one. Let's see what the people will think of their beloved emperor now. All transmissions have been sent, sir. Every world in the Dominion just got a UNN special bulletin about Minsk. Alright. Alright, so that's the end of that one. Um there is a secret and you can check out the beginning of this video to um, find that. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.